What's going on guys? It has been a few days, but I am here and I'm finally ready to show you guys how to do the video SEO audits. Now, the way this video is gonna go is first I wanna show you guys the tools you're gonna need so you don't get blindsided when I actually go through them. And after that, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I go through step by step and put together the video audit, like what I use to record the tools. I'm actually only gonna use two tools because I wanna keep this as simple as possible. Keep you guys not having to pay for like 30 different tools. And I made sure to show you guys how to do it using just Ahrefs and uh, SEO site checkup. But after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys my exact templates that I use, like how I say the stuff in the video and how the video goes down, basically like sort of sort of like the you know intro, middle, second part, all that stuff. And I'm gonna basically show you guys exactly how I do it. So that way you guys don't have to worry about like not knowing what to say because I literally have my exact, like the words that come out of my mouth written down. And if you don't wanna watch to that part of the video, you can also just join my Facebook group. And in that Facebook group, um, I have the link to the Google Drive that has all of the templates right there. And you can just copy and paste it. You can't edit it, this is just a view link, but you can copy and paste um, that stuff and just basically put in your own information in there and it'll work perfectly fine. And that's what I do for literally all my audits. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it in anywhere from five to 10 minutes a piece. So like these audits don't take me very long at all. And if it's a really big client that I potentially wanna get, then it'll take a little bit longer for that guy. But normally, they take me anywhere from five to 10 minutes, 15 minutes max. And this includes editing. Like normally, I mean, if you got, I'm not sure you guys have noticed yet, but I don't edit my videos very much on YouTube or on anything. So I'd prefer just to keep it going, you know, in one take. And sometimes that's why it takes me so long to get a video out because I'm like, oh, I said one word wrong in the middle of the video. I have to restart entirely, but I'm getting better at it. So sorry about that guys. But what I will do is now we can just hop right into it because I'm tired of leaving you guys waiting. I know you guys have been waiting for a long time for this. It's been like a week. So like I said, I got my notes right here just in case so I can make sure I get everything. Oh, and then after, after I show you the templates, I'm going to show you guys tips and tricks, like the stuff that you don't want to do and the stuff that you do want to do to make sure that you get these audits as high, uh, converting into meetings as possible. Cause you don't want to waste your time making an audit if it's not going to turn into a meeting. So those tips are going to be huge. And before anything else, let's just get right into it. All right. So boom, here we are today. We're going to be doing the audit on all about the pipes. These guys are a plumbing company that I prospected in a different video. I think it was video number two. And I'll leave a link to all the videos in the pr previous videos in the series uh, below. But in the meantime, I just want to show you guys that the, these are, these, this is who we're going to be doing the video audit on. So that way you guys just know, have a little idea. That's why I highlighted it green. You know, here's the name of it. Here's the company. And what you do is I just, I always like to have these three things open. So like I said, all we're going to be using is Ahrefs and SEO site checkup. SEO site checkup is what I use for the on-page SEO and Ahrefs is what I use for all the backlinks and all that type of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare using Ahrefs and SEO site checkup to the, their two competitors. Because right here, this first one's home advisor. You don't want to compare them to the home advisor because you know you're not gonna be able to outrank home advisor or you can't outrank a home advisor but you can't it's not the same thing you know what i mean they're it's not like you're t attempting to go you're not competing with home advisors not stealing your customers it's adam's plumbing right here um and ben franklin i think it was that are stealing these guys customers so these are the guys that we're going to compare them to because if you're able to use the um competitors uh, to leverage the reason they need SEO, then it makes them a lot more, it, it's, it's a bigger pain point for especially basically any type of service business that knows their competitors, which I guarantee this Charlotte plumber knows that these two guys are outranking them. Um, if you can leverage that pain point, then they are much, much more likely to actually get on the call with you. But, um, like I said, more tips like that are gonna be coming in the actual end of the video. So wait until that point, if you want to hear more about that. But in the meantime, like I said, first thing we're start off was the tools. So I wanted to keep this simple, only use two tools because I know you guys, not necessarily everybody is at the point where they have enough money to spend it on SEM rush and you know, all of these tools that I have here. But, uh, I do know that if you can afford, or if you, you can even just do the seven day, $7 trial for Ahrefs and then SEO site checkup is free unless you want to buy like an extra subscription. I still use this, the free one though. So it doesn't really matter that much, but, um, so literally seven bucks for seven days. And in that seven days, you could be able to get your first client if you do this correctly and use the um, different sort of email campaign, reach out things that I've been showing you in other videos. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into this. So right here, first things first, you want to pull up the actual website. So their website is right here. Okay. This is all about the pipes. This is their website. You want to put this into Ahrefs so you can pull up all their information. And right now we're just looking at the homepage, but you can see everything about it, right? You can see they have only 96 organic traffic per month. You know, it's about, which were about 700 bucks. 
and you know here are the organic keywords we're ranking for you know 455 referring domains 100 backlinks 382 what you're going to do is you want to go through this information in the body of the or I, I like to call it the meat that's what it's called in the script and i'm gonna show you guys the script after this but i just want to show you guys right now how you'd actually get the information because the main thing is you want to be able to force the most important thing the vital thing down their throat and the two things i like to focus on are both um, on page SEO factors as well as backlinks because backlinks are huge. And if you're on page SEO screwed up, it's not going to matter how many backlinks you have because it, it you know, it's just not going to matter if you're on page is trying to rank you for a cat toy when you are getting backlinks for, uh, you know, a plumber's thing. And they're just going to be so competing that Google is going to say, screw it. And we're not even going to try to, we're not even going to try to, you know, work with this website. Right. And so that's why you want to make sure that the backlinks, because that's, that's the vital part for the backlinks and the SEO site checkup is what you use for the on page SEO. And this right here is, it's so great. It literally, has right here you just scroll down to this point and you can literally just read the stuff off you know we've checked 52 links on your page one of them is a broken and that's a huge ranking factor you know you you over exaggerate you over accentuate how important it is because if you do that then they see it oh they're like oh well, i don't even know how to fix that you know what i mean it doesn't even show or i guess it does show which one's broken but um you know what i mean like your website contains urls that are not seo friendly you can show them the full list and this one doesn't have much, you know, like I said, I literally just pulled this up and I'm doing this video just to show you guys, get this out there and keep it simple. Um, and then in my CSS, I don't really mention that because it's not that big of a deal in my experience, but the favicon, yeah, they don't have a favicon. I noticed that as soon as I uh, prospected these guys like a while ago, but you, like you, like, as you can see up here, you know, they have no favicon and it's very difficult to actually, oops, let me actually zoom this in a little bit. You guys probably can't see it very well. I have a big, I have a very big screen, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was difficult for you guys to actually see this, but, um, yeah, like I said, no favicon. That's not a huge deal, but it's definitely a it's a definitely just a turnoff because Adam Plumbing doesn't have it either. So, like I said, what I would what I would do with you if I was you is compare them to their competitors. So right now, Adam Plumbing doesn't have a favicon, so I wouldn't say, oh, you don't have a favicon, and that's a big deal because your competitor is doing that. Because the entire point of this video is saying I want to show you what your competitors are doing that you aren't doing that's helping them outrank you, get steal your customers, is what we like to say. And so here, just on the on-page SEO factors, you know, it doesn't have the favicon and then, you know, 300 total on back backlinks, that's just for the homepage. And the loading time's a little bit below average. I'd rather it be below five seconds. And you can tell them that you can accentuate, oh, if it's anything below three seconds, that's gonna be a huge deal. But in reality, guys, you don't need to lie to them. You don't need to say it's a huge deal because honestly, people are looking for plumbers. They're not gonna, they're not gonna be so impatient that they're sitting there, you know, if it takes two extra seconds to load, they're not gonna sit there and, you know, be worried about it loading, you know, especially if it's like an emergency plumber, they're not going to want to totally give up on the first result of Google just because it takes two extra seconds to load. Um, yeah, JavaScript minifiction. Uh, to be honest, dude, I'm going to be completely real. I've never used this in the presentation. I never said it to somebody that their minification is, you know, screwed up because in all reality, dude, I don't know enough about this specific thing right here to be able to tell them and educate them. And, uh, I also, you know, I, I don't want to lie to them. So after that, you just keep on scrolling down plain text, um, protect your email links. Oh, this is just basically, uh, what do you call it? This is just a way that people can just, I guess it's, uh, don't, don't use that, <laughs> you know, just don't use it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not a big enough deal. Scroll down as you can see, no follow checker, no follow me meta tag. All right, and you can, and then basically you can go to any of these and you can say how to check or how to fix and it'll show you how to fix it. And then you can sort of tell them that, educate them. But um, yeah, it really, these guys aren't doing that bad on the on page. So like I said, what I would do is focus on the off page. But um, another thing that I would do is when you actually go to the Ahrefs, which is the meat of this, this is the biggest part of it. You know, this this has so much information on it that people are going to be like wondering what half of this stuff means. And if you can basically just make it seem like you know more about it than they do, and it, you make it seem like it's something they could never do in a million years because it's so complicated, you don't make it seem like they're arrogant, right? You don't make it seem like they're you know they're they're totally unable to do it because they're stupid. You make it seem that it's just so difficult that it takes years of experience to even figure it out. We know as SEOs that that's not true, but the way to actually make these people see and understand, you know, the actual depth of how far this goes, you want to make sure that they see this and realize, oh, well, you know, this is actually a big deal. And that's what, that's what you want to do. You don't, you want to make it seem like they can't do it um, themselves. The way I like to put it is there is their current situation, which right now is their ranked 15th on Google, I think it was, and their desired situation getting ranked in the top five. You know what I mean? Can, getting more customers from being ranked in the top five at Google. And the gap in, what you want to do is make the gap in between the current situation and their desired situation as far as possible. And you can do this through 
multiple different ways, but the easiest way, like I said before, is literally just to make it seem like they can't do it themselves. You know what I mean? Make it seem like getting more backlinks is almost impossible. You tell them to do, you know, all the stuff about how you have to get backlinks through um, guest posts and all this stuff and you have to buy them. And, you know, right now it looks like they have a bunch of backlinks from directories, which are no follow links, not huge, not great backlinks. Um, and you tell them all the stuff that's just so complicated that it overwhelms them. You know what I mean? If they wanted to, they could take the information and use it themselves because you don't want to give them bad information. But the thing is, you want them to see it and then realize that because you're providing this value, you can also do it. And so at the end of the video, when I show you the actual script, the templates that I use, um, that shows you exactly how to actually say that, you know, the sort of the closing of the entire, uh, the entire template. Because to be honest, dude, the actual information you show them, this is a big part. So make sure you listen up right here. Um, the actual information that you show in your video is not nearly as important as the way you make the information sound through the templates and the scripts that you use. So the script is by far the most important part of this video. And if you take anything away from this video, it is the scripts. Okay. There are multiple other ways to do this, but I'm just showing you guys basically the bare bones because that's all you really need. All you really need to do is basically be able to explain this information, everything on here, the SERPs, the referring pages, the referring domains. You want to be able to, you know, just explain everything on Ahrefs just so you can basically scroll through it and put some uh, meat in the middle of your, um, in the middle of your video audit. Because to be honest, dude, the video audit isn't as much to, uh, actually, you don't want to, you don't want to show them everything because if you show them everything, they can literally just show it to, you know, their friend and their friend can, uh, you know, go do it for them. So what you want to do is you want to show them a lot of information, you know, sort of educate them, you know, where the problem is, because you have Ahrefs, you have this huge visual thing here and people love looking at visuals. And what you do is, by comparing them to their competitors and showing them all these visuals and then as, as, uh, and just basically making it, drawing out that gap, what you do is you just make it seem so out of their realm that all they can really do is hire you to do it. Or, you know, you can in, in the template, which is, you know, I'm just going to go to the template pretty soon because it's honestly so important. I want you guys to get, just be able to see it because the template without the template, this doesn't matter. You know, none of this stuff, you could go talk like I would, and it would take you half an hour to actually do these audits. But if you just read through the template and literally just go off the template that I'm going to show you, you can just, you could even do an audio audit. You can do an audio audit and literally use that template and you will still be better off than 90, 95% of the people who are doing video audits because it's just such a great template. And I want to show you guys this template, but let's just finish up this first. So yeah. The three, the three main things you want to focus on, or the two main things you want to focus on backlinks and you want to focus on on page factors. And I showed you guys to do backlinks. You know, you just go in here, you can basically explain to them what the problem is with the backlinks. You can show them their organic traffic and you can compare it to their competitors traffic. The way you do that is just take one of these links, copy. If I were you, I just duplicate this tab and then you can just paste this right in here and you can do this in the video too. So that way it's, you know, it seems not set up. It seems legit. Oh, I didn't copy the right link. Um, Let's just see. Copy, go in here, uh, paste, boom. And then you just show them the actual, look at that, $20,000 of traffic value for this one versus, you know, their organic traffic is almost se or 715 versus these guys' organic traffic, which is 96. You know, they can see the difference. They can literally see the drawn out difference. And, you know, all you're doing is drawing out the gap. Like you are, you know, um, 600, 600 organic traffic below this guy. And this guy has $20,000 in monthly free, uh, advertising and you have 690. And as you can see, you know, it, it really is just, it's all about drawing at the gap. That's the biggest part of this entire thing besides the template. But the, if you, if you took one thing away from this video, it would be the template. And then if you took another thing, it would definitely be how to draw at the gap because drawing out the gap between their current situation and their desired situation is probably the single best sales tactic, or in this case, marketing tactic you could ever use for this video audit. And yeah, so let's, uh, now that I've shown you guys this, basically how to compare, you know, the different um, how to compare the websites of different, uh, people that you're working with. So like, um, for instance, Adam Slumings, who we're working with, we're comparing them to their competitors who would be, oh no, we're working with, uh, what do you call it? All about the pipes and Adam's plumbing is who they're comparing their competitor. Their competitor is Adam's plumbing. And, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Benjamin Franklin plumbing. So these are the guys that you're comparing them to. You're drawing at the gap between where they are and where they're getting to and where they want to be. And you basically portray yourself as the person who can get them to that point. And yeah, let's just get right into the actual script. I Here it is. All right, sorry about that, guys. It took way too long. It was just in the wrong account. I was looking in the wrong account. So I'm going to edit that part out. But like I said, 
Um, let's just get right into it. This is an extremely important part. So just make sure you go over this and this is a huge, huge part. So if you guys take anything from this video, make sure it's this script because you could literally go through the script and just do it as a audio, an audio audit if you really want to, and it would be more valuable than 90% of the ones that you're actually, uh, 90% of the video, it's 90% of the video audits people get in the first place. So let's just go right through it. So introduction 22nd is, I, this is how I would say it. So, uh, whatever the prospect name is, this guy would, I don't remember his name is, I think it's right here. Um, it's not so, uh, you wouldn't actually be able to say the name, but whatever it would might, it might be normally when they respond to you, you get their actual name. So that's why I say prospect name. And, uh, that's like, that's what this is here. So let's just say his name was Adam. I know that's a different guy, but let's just say it was Adam. Adam. Hi, my name is Bruce Weaver. And I just saw your website on Google when searching for the keyword Charlotte plumbers and decided to take a look at your website. The reason for this video is that I saw that both competitor a and competitor B are doing something that attracts some customers like crazy, but I noticed that you aren't doing it yourself. Let me show you what that is. And then now you go into the issue, okay? You wanna segue right into this and then you wanna cover the issue like this. This is basically where you tell them what the problem is and you wanna focus on either backlinks or on um, on page SEO factors. And like I said, here, let's go into it. So see, I noticed all three of these competitors are ranking very well when you search phrases like plumber Charlotte, plumbing in Charlotte, Charlotte plumbing companies and similar phrases. These are all searches that generate thousands of people making, or that thousands of people are searching for every month and looking for plumbing companies. But unfortunately, it looks like your company isn't showing anywhere near the top. And you can show them the SERPs and the other issue high, like that you're highlighting and you know, including their competitor comparisons. But basically what you want to do is just show them, hey, you're not actually ranking for this thing. And that's the issue. You know what I mean? The, the entire reason you're contacting them is because you want to get them ranked. And that's why you're contacting these people in the first place because you want you think you can get them ranked on the front page of Google. And that's where you're doing SEO. So then after this, what you're going to do is you want to go into um, the meat of it. This is the biggest part. This is where you actually go in and show them the actual things, compare them to their competitors. 20,000 traffic value versus 670 or 690 and then this is the biggest part so and then once you told them the issue the opportunity um once you show them once you've told them the issue uh the opportunity and really the three competitors but they may already like they may already know that uh what do you call it? they may already know like i said the issue that um they're not ranked in the top page of google and they like i said they may already know that and you need to give them some actual meat here and tell them the reason you're not ranking in a hint to, uh, a hint at a solution to fix it keyword there is uh a hint because you know you don't want to give them everything because they could just do it themselves. So like I said, let's just go right into it. So, well, I looked into it and the reason you're not ranking comes down to something called backlinks. Backlinks are basically votes from other websites that, that say that yours is good. And the simplest way of looking at this is that the more links you have, also known as votes, the higher your website will rank. So when we look at competitor A, we can see that they have 34 leaks currently and competitor B has 36. And on top of that, competitor C has 28. And as of right now, you currently have only 12. Now, obviously, just like votes, not all are created equal, but we can actually go in and see the exact links that you and your competitors have like this. And what you do is you'd go in here and you can go into the backlinks and then go into their competitors backlinks and you can see exactly what the backlinks that they're ranking for are. And what you can do is by doing this exact process, you can show them, you know, the parts that they're ranking for the most valuable ones, you know, the domain rank that you are, all that stuff like, you know, the things, the no follows, the do follows, everything like that. It really doesn't take much. You just want to show to them overwhelmed keyword being uh, overwhelmed, because if you do that and you show them a hint about how to fix it by getting more backlinks, you know, that would be the hint in this case, then, um, you know, then what you do is you simply portray yourself as an educator instead of someone who's trying to sell them something. And, uh, when I go into tips in a little bit, you're going to see exactly actually how I portray myself as that. And you know, the keys to actually making this video work. But, um, yeah, after that, you'd show them all this stuff and it says, uh, so now obviously just like votes on a creative equal, but we can go in and see the exact, uh, links you you and your competitors have like this. Um, so the solution is actually quite simple and looking through these links, your competitors have, you can see exactly what you need to replicate to start beating them and then get in front of these 23,000 or 2,300 prospects every month that are seeing your competitors instead of you. And what you do is, you know, this, you tell them sort of a solution of it. And the solution would be in this case, just get more backlinks and you can tell them, you know, you can do this through guest posting on other websites. You can, you know, if as an SEO, I'm sure, you know, multiple other ways of, uh, getting backlinks and there's hundreds of videos online about how to get more backlinks to your website. You know, you can literally do social shares, you can get anything like this and there's hundreds of ways to do it. But the most, I, I'd say if you want to do anything, just insert right here, you could say you can get backlinks through guest posting and link bait, but you don't really explain what that is. You can just tell them that you, that's how you do it. 
and that would be sort of the hint you know what i mean you're telling them they need to get more backlinks that's the hint and then the on top of that like the more specific part of it is you do this through guest posting or through link baits and link baits you know that's a whole nother video but after this um you do you go into the credibility and then basically after you've answered their after you've answered you know or after you've done everything so far you want to answer the question that may be in their heads and that would be at this point you know who is this guy and so see we just we deliberately skipped this in this in the introduction because we wanted to hook them but now that we've got their attention it's important to cover it before pushing for the close and it goes something like this and just so you know this isn't coming from some random guy on the internet with no clue what he's talking about let me briefly introduce myself so my name is Bruce Weaver and I'm a digital marketing consultant for plumbers and the creator of the 115 step system. I basically help plumbers get more calls and inquiries through their current websites by ranking their businesses higher in Google. So when someone goes online and searches for your services, they'll see your business first and not your competitors. And basically, let me just explain what the 115 step system is. You don't even need to have this part. You can say I'm a digital marketing consultant and, and you can just cut this part out. It could be I'm a digital marketing consultant for plumbers. I basically help plumbers get more calls and inquiries. You know what I mean? You don't have to have this part. But I put this part in because I actually did create the 115 step system, which is literally a step by step you know, guide on how to rank a website. If you go through these 115 step systems, by the end of it, your website will almost guaranteed be ranked, you know, or will be on the process to getting ranked. And you have to just keep on doing these steps. And then, you know, they're pretty actionable steps. You can go in and do them. But like I said, a totally different video. And there's so many steps in there. I have to do an entire video just to show you guys that. But yeah, this is how you do this. And then, you know, you just read this part out. I basically help plumbers get more calls and queries to their websites, ranking their business all higher in Google. And then after that, you move on to the close. And this is the part where this is really important. This is where the script actually shines because this is the part that's going to make them want to get on the call with you. And this is where you offer a strategy session to map out the plan for them to execute this as well as cover the other parts, um, other parts of this video. Because, you know, while backlinks are an important part, there are definitely other fundamentals that are the f like form the foundation of ranking, you know, for example, on page SEO and, um, and content. So here's an example of what to say. So. Here's what I'd like to do for you. You're more than welcome to take all of this data information I've given to you here and just do it yourself. I, I don't mind at all, but I want to do you one better. Let's schedule a free 15 minute strategy session with me and I'll personally answer your questions and help map out a plan to leverage this and help get you ahead of your competitors. And if you actually like the plan and we seem like a good fit for each other, I'll go ahead and do the entire thing for you. And if not, no worries at all. You can just take the whole thing and do it yourself or even give it to someone else to do for you. All you have to do is schedule a time in my calendar to talk and we'll hop on the call and go through it. There's no charge and definitely no obligation to work with us afterwards. We'll also be able to go through some of the other things I didn't have time to mention in this video, like certain elements your competitors are using on their actual websites to improve their rankings and how their rankings or how they're ranking in these map listings or how they're ranking in these map listings here. And then what you could do there is just literally show them the map listing for this. And this is Charlotte Plumbers. So let me just pull this up. And then right here, you know, you can see, um, what do you call it? Uh, Benjamin Franklin plumbing. There's one of them. And I pretty sure, Oh, all about the pipes there. They are. But I think the one that I searched up before was plumbers in Charlotte. So this is where you do it, but it's re it's really the same sort of thing. It's not a big deal, but that's what you want to do. You want to show them, you know, how the map listing can affect them, you know, the map pack. Um, but yeah, so like I said, we'll also go through the, some of the other things I didn't have time to mention in this video, like certain elements your competitors using on their websites to improve their rankings and how they're ranking in these map listings here. And all you have to do to schedule is completely free strategy session below and I'll walk you, I'll walk you through all of it. With that said, I hope you learned something in this video or in this video, whether you're, and whether you decide this, <laughs> uh, dude, that, that learned throws me off, man. Like I, that's how I say it, but it, it's. I don't know. It still throws me off when I see that big underlying thing. So let me just do that, do that real quick. With that said, I hope you learned something from this video, whether you decide to discuss it with me or not. And if you do have any problems scheduling the call, please feel free to email me at bruce at safebedseo.com. Otherwise, enjoy the video and feel free to rewatch it. I know how much this can help your business and I look forward to talking with you shortly. Thanks. And that's how you end the video or that's how you end the video on. And after that, you just cut it off. And normally the way you record these videos is with actually uh, OBS studio. That's what I do. And you can literally just record the screen. There's hundreds of tutorials online about how to do that. But like I said, you can also just look up, you know, free, um, free screen recorder software for windows or Mac, whatever it may be. It doesn't matter either one, you know, as long as you can actually get the videos recorded 
And yeah, basically that's how you do the videos. That's how you do the script. And then after this, I'm going to show you guys, or right now, actually, I'm going to show you guys the actual tips that I have for making sure that your video audits go as well as possible and making sure that you don't mess up something vital in these video audits. So what we can do is we can actually switch back to, um, the face cam because I'm just going to read out all of my, uh, list of notes here real quick. So yeah, basically the first tip for these video audits is that you are not selling in these audits. All right. You are just educating. And that's the key word here. You are not selling because if you're trying to sell to them, then they're not going to want to buy from you. Cause it's very rare that someone's going to see a video audit and immediately be like, Oh, let me just give this guy my money. You know what I mean? So you want to make sure you use it as a marketing tool and you're just educating them on the problems and widening that gap. So it's partly a sales tool, but you're not using it as an actual sales pitch. Okay. The sales tool is that you're, you're making, so this is where they are and this is where they want to be. And you know, if this is actually the gap, like if they're ranked number five and they want to get to number one, you know, this is the gap, but you want to make that gap seem like it's this big. You know what I mean? You want to make that gap seem huge because you want to make it seem as difficult as possible for them to get point a, their current situation to point B, their desired situation. And that's what, that's what drawing out the gap is all about. And you can do that with literally any sales thing. If drawing out the gap is probably, you know, the best sales tactic I've ever used in my life. And it's something that everybody uses, like some of the best salesmen in the world, like Grant Cardone, uh, Sam Ovens, all these consultants and, uh, real estate agents, people who sell stuff on a daily basis, use this sales tactic about, uh, drawing out the gap. Like, you know, how would this affect you if you're not ranked here? And then, you know, here's how, how, yeah, you're right. Here's how it would help you. If you were ranked here, you want to make it seem like it hurts. You know what I mean? So like I said, sales is a whole nother video, but, um, yeah. So the second tip is to educate the prospect on opportunities for their business. So the opportunity for their business is getting in front of whatever the amount of people that are actually being able to see, uh, that are actually searching this, uh, specific term up per month is. And like I said, in the prospecting video, you can, you know, you'd say anywhere from three or four times what the actual value is because that's total long tail keywords and all the other ranking factors. You know, once it's all put in, that's how much traffic you can get or how much actual search volume this, all that stuff that you'd rank for. If you rank for one of these big keywords, like for instance, Charlotte plumbers. So it would go to about 3000, for example, is what this one would be. And so you could say you, this is how you, or the opportunity is getting in front of 2,600 customers that you are not currently getting in front of every single month. And, uh, you know, you educate them on the opportunity and how getting to that number one rank can do that. And that's what you do in the meet. The meet's the main part of that. And, uh, tip three video audits. Like I, oh, I already said this video audit audits are a marketing tool and they're not a sales pitch. So don't try to use them as a sales pitch. I already told you guys why. So let's just go to right to right to tip four. You want to keep these videos between five to 15 minutes long, preferably around that 10 minute mark because it's the happy medium. Anything more than 15 minutes, I find that people will drop off. They don't watch the entire video. And then what's the point of recording a video if it's not something that you watched? You know what I mean? So like if you record a 30 minute video, they watch five minutes of it, then 25 minutes of that video is just pff, down the drain. You know what I mean? So that's why I try to keep it at this specific point. Um, let's see. Tip five, focus on these two things, competition, and data. So the competition is basically the point where you're drive. It's like, it's like the point where you are making the actual situation hurt more than it actually does. Because it's like saying you're, it, <laughs> it's like comparing you to your little brother or to your older brother. If you ever, if you've ever had one, like I, I have a little brother and if my, if my little brother is anything better than me, it makes me angry. So it's like comparing, it's like, well, you can see, you know, you can see why it would make you angry for to be compared to a competitor. And if you're showing you, Oh, your competitors outperforming you and they're doing better than you, they're more successful business than you. It really is a pain point for these business owners, especially the ones who are doing these service-based businesses, sort of like plumbing. So yeah, definitely a huge factor. You want to make sure to drive in that competition. Why X, Y, and Z are outranking you, for example, is the pain point. You know, they're outranking you. They're doing better than you. You know what I mean? It's a pain point. And then the second thing you want to do data. And that's what the entire reason you use the tools for, because like I said, you could do this video audit, totally, totally audio driven. If you wanted to, you could literally just talk it out and it would work fine. It wouldn't work as well as the data. If you had the data shown up, but it will work because simply, you know, the script's just that good if you do it correctly, but the data, you know, this is where you show your data and you actually back it up. So you can back it up using Ahrefs, you know, show, Oh, you have 300 links your competitor has 600 links. You know what I mean? You'd back it up. You'd show them the Ahrefs for your website and then you show them the Ahrefs for their website. And you know, this is, they have literally have double your links and this is why they have $20,000 in monthly, uh, traffic value. And you have, you know, on the other hand, $600 in it. So 
yeah, you want to make sure to drive in those two things. And that's why I use the, that's why I use SEO site checkup and Ahrefs so much. Cause they're really good at showing that data and visualizing it because these people don't know how to read this stuff. You know what I mean? You have to understand that these people aren't SEOs, you know, they're plumbers. They're great at what they do, but they are not great at SEO and that's why you're doing it for them. So yeah, fo- make sure to focus on, you know, competition and data. And the next tip is to focus on the critical problems. And I sort of explained this in the part where I was talking about the meat of the thing, meat of the uh, script, but you want to actually focus on these two problems. So you want to focus on on-page problems, which you use, uh, what do you call it? S or you use SEO site checkup to actually show them the on-page problems. I showed you guys how to do it a little while ago. And you want to focus on the other main problem, which would be backlinks. And the third main problem would be um, map pack factors. But that's something that you also do toward the end, sort of towards the close, because like I said, that's where the script brings it in. But yeah, like I said, problems, you want to focus on on-page problems. Like for example, here's a few examples of, not, of big critical on-page problems, like no meta description, unoptimized title tags, uh, too many, too much keyword stuffing, like when you have 100 keywords in the bottom in the footer, so you can rank for a bunch of these keywords. It doesn't work anymore. Made it worked in 2006, but it does not work anymore. Um, other things as in like too many H2 tags, uh, your alt tags aren't, or your, uh, what do you call it? Your title isn't optimized stuff like this, stuff like this. And then after that for backlinks, you want to show the top three competitors and why they're outranking. And normally this comes down to backlinks to be completely honest. Cause a lot of these people don't really know much about SEO in the first place. So they're all equally bad on, on page, but where it comes, what it comes down to is one has more backlinks than the other one. That's where they're outranking, especially when plumbers, because plumbers, yeah, I'm, I I can tell you that I've not seen many very good, well SEO, well designed plumber websites in my life. And you could even use this to sell web design because a lot of plumbers need web design. So if you wanted to use the prospecting methods I showed you and just do web design, that would work perfectly fine too. But yeah, those are the main problems. And then for map packs, you literally just use the map pack. There's no tool you need for that. You can just show them when the map pack exactly like who's outranking them and why. Because map packs are pretty simple, you know, it comes down to uh, it comes down to congruency between your website and other websites, right? like for instance directories with your address and stuff like that. Because you know, if you have three different addresses for the same business, then the business is, then Google's not going to know which one's which. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, that's that's a different video too, though. So yeah, man, that's basically the end of this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is exactly how I do my video audits. This um, this video took a while to get take like actually. Uh, bring out for you guys. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about the delay, but I've had a lot going on with my agency. And so I, at this moment with 70 subscribers, whatever Oh, by the way, thank you for hitting 70 subscribers too. Like that's, that's insane. Literally. I think it was two weeks ago. I had like 12 subscribers, something like that. So that's not that bad for three videos in. And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate it guys. Some of my videos have 300 views now, which is insane to me because like before I had never gotten more than 50 views on a single video. And that's like including all these weird videos I did years ago. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, I really appreciate that. And I'm going to keep on trying to upload at a more consistent basis. I got to get in the habit of, you know what I mean? Because, um, yeah, it's definitely, it's not difficult to stay motivated because I'm seeing the growth, but it is a little bit difficult to keep the habit going because I have so much else going on. I have, you know, people I hang out with in real life. I have my agency, I have school, I have, you know, I work out every day. It really does get difficult to keep up with everything. So I'm sorry about the delay guys, but it's here now. You can stop worrying. And if you have any questions about this thing, because I know this was sort of a haphazard video. I tried to do it in one cut. I'm going to have to edit one time because I actually couldn't find the script in the middle of the video. But, um, besides that, this was a one cut video and I just want to show you guys literally hundred percent raw uncut how I do them. And you know, there, there isn't much to it. So I don't want you to feel like this is something that only professional SEOs can do because I was doing this before I had any experience and this really isn't something that's that difficult. You know what I mean? It's extremely simple to do these audits and you know, there's hundreds of other videos online if you don't like this video. Uh, so yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, join the Facebook group because I respond there a lot quicker than I do in the actual, um, in the comments, but I do respond to all the comments and I do my best to respond to them. I'll leave them a heart. If you, if you drop them, they're good comments and I'll also respond to them if they're ones I feel like multiple people who are watching the video are going to uh, have questions about. So yeah, definitely join the Facebook group. It's linked below. And that's also where the templates will be. So if you want to actually go in and copy and paste those templates for yourself, so that way you can read them out for your client then, um, yeah, definitely do that. That's a 
that, you know, that's probably, that's one of the most valuable parts of this video. But, um, yeah, guys, that's it. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.